YouTubers, it's Fort Boys here, and um, just going over some of the recent UFO headlines. I know uh, the conspiracy theorists and the UFO uh, truthers have been talking recently about Proxima Centauri. Um, so if you remember a few months back, well, probably well, it was probably longer than that, I was talking about a series uh, called Ascension, and I was recommending that everybody watch it because there was some hidden meaning behind the entire series. Uh, not many people were able to pick it up, but a few of us were. So, um, Proxima Centauri is actually, the name is from Latin meaning the nearest star of Centaurus. Uh, it's a red dwarf, uh, a small low uh, mass star about 4.25 light years from the sun in the constellation of Centaurus. It was discovered in 1915 by the Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, the director of the Union Observatory in South Africa, and is the nearest known star t uh, uh, to our sun. With an apparent magnitude of uh, 11.05, it's too faint to be seen with the naked eye, but Proxima to Centauri may form a third component of the Alpha Centauri binary star system at a separation of uh, 15,000 by uh, 700 AU, where its normal uh, or its orbital period is likely greater than 500,000 years. So very very different than here. Um, now because of Proxima Centauri's proximity to Earth, its angular diameter can be measured directly. It's about one seventh the diameter of that of the Sun, and it has a mass about an eighth of the sun's mass and its average density is about 40 times that of the sun. Although it has a very low average luminosity, Proxima is a flare star and uh, that undergoes random dramatic increases in brightness because of the magnetic activity. Uh, the star's magnetic field is created by convection throughout the stellar body and the resulting flare activity generates a total X-ray emission similar to that produced by the sun. Um, now, the mixing of the fuel at Proxima Centauri's core through convection uh, and its relatively low energy production rate uh, means that it will um, be a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years, or, well, nearly 300 times the current age of the universe. Something to think about. Uh, the star is known to have a host planet, Proxima uh, Centauri b, which was confirmed in August 2016. This uh, previous searches for companions orbiting Proxima Centauri have been unsuccessful, ruling out the presence of brown dwarfs and supermassive planets. Uh, precision radial velocity surveys have also ruled out the presence of super-Earths within the star's habitable zone. So, the detection of smaller objects will require the use of new instruments, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which is scheduled for deployment in 2018. Now, because Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf and a uh, flare star, whether a planet orbiting it could support life is, of course, in dispute. Nevertheless, because of the star's proximity to Earth, it has been proposed as a destination for interstellar travel, which may include a fleet of interstellar starship spacecrafts currently being developed uh, by the break, or sorry, by the Breakthrough Starshot project. Something to look up on the internet as well. Yes, another Earth could be circling the star right next door to us. Astronomers announced on Wednesday that they had detected a planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest neighbor to our solar system. Intriguingly, the planet is in the star's Goldilocks zone, where it may be neither too hot nor too cold. That means liquid water exists at the surface, raising the possibility for life. Although observations in recent years, particularly by NASA's Kepler planet finding mission, have uncovered a bounty of Earth-sized worlds throughout the galaxy, this one holds particular promise because it might someday, uh, decades from now, be possible to reach. It, uh, with the close proximity, again, 4.24 light years away, uh, it's extremely close in cosmic terms. Now, one astronomer likened it to a flashing neon sign. Uh, he said, I'm the nearest star and I have a potentially habitable planet. That was uh, said by Paul Butler, an astronomer at the Carnegie Institution for Science and a member of the team that made the discovery. Um, so there you have it. All of the uh, local newspapers, including the New York Times, 
uh, as well as others have been posting all about this um, this new discovery today. Uh, of course, it was released this morning, today, August 24th, 2016. Um, now, beyond the planet's size and distance from the parent star, much about it is still mysterious. Scientists are working uh, off computer models that offer mere hints of what's possible. Conditions could be Earth-like, but they could also be hellish like Venus, or cold and dry like Mars. Or so they say. There is no picture of the planet which has been designated Proxima B. Uh, instead, Dr. Anglade Eskewed and his colleagues detected it, it indirectly, studying via telescope the light of the parent star. Uh, they zeroed in on clock-like wobbles in the starlight as the colors shifted slightly to the reddish end of the spectrum, then slightly bluish. The oscillations caused by the bobbing back and forth motion of the star as it is pulled around by the gravity of the planet are similar to how the pitch of a pulley siren r rises or falls depending upon uh, whether the patrol car is traveling towards or away from the listener. So from the size of the wobbles, the astronomers determined that Proxima b is at least 1.3 times the mass of Earth, although it could be several times larger. A uh, year on Proxima b, the time to complete one orbit around the star lasts just 11.2 days. So the planet's moving very quickly. Although the planet lost in the glare of the star cannot be viewed by current telescopes, astronomers hope to see it when the next generation is built uh, a decade from now. So there you have it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this whole discovery and uh, let's have a bit of discussion about it. Follow us on Twitter and uh, I'd also like to send out a shout out to everyone for the comments. Thank you so much for all the comments and the support uh, both on the YouTube and on the social media. Really appreciate it. Facebook page has uh, got over a hundred likes now, so we're starting to get a little bit bigger there and uh, getting lots of likes and feedback. So thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you next time.